Hey, just wanted to come back because this was an interesting email. Uh, so we are getting ready for the run-in. We'll be back for the last two matches, but we've got five matches left or four matches or something. Uh, so here is our run-in. We are currently sixth in the table. We are one point out of, thir out of fourth and three points out of potentially second. And we have a pretty e 11th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. Now, uh, who is this? I don't know all. The, I don't know all the teams. All right, so Reed. They've got a pretty easy run in. All right, Vacher Innsbruck is going to play Lens and Superfund. Seriously? Oh my God! Uh, so they've got You know, they're going to cut each other's throats. Uh, they've got third, second and fourth and fifth, second and third. All right, so a couple of these teams could potentially cancel each other out, allowing us to vault up into the, you know, into the campaign. I don't see anybody catching Reed. They're six up. So uh, anyway, just wanted you guys to see the run in. <laughs> Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Climbing the ladder, Football Manager 20. This is episode 8. Uh, so, we are down to the final two matches of the season. Let's take a look what happened since last episode. We did beat uh, Don Burn 3 0 last episode. Then we beat Lifering 3 1. Goals from Amin Ellers, Alexander Kosman, and Evgeny Petrov. And then we had a pair of draws. Really had hoped to win these 2-2. Two -two. Uh, we got an equalizer in the 73rd minute and had to get an own goal for the first goal. So, I don't know. We got lucky in that one, maybe. And then a nil-nil draw. Uh, they had a player sent off in the 57th minute. We just couldn't get it done. So, if we take a look, heading into the final two games, we are in sixth position. We are 10 out of the lead for promotion. So, that's not going to happen. But we still have a little bit of room. And if we look at the stages, then we can see kind of the form. So uh, Innsbruck has a win and a draw, a draw and a win, a draw and a win, and a win and a draw. And then we've got the two draws. So, so we've dropped points, uh, at least two points here, to everybody else. And, um, you know, we're only one point out of uh fifth fourth fifth and two points out of fourth i'd really like to get to fourth just for the finish just for the money you know for not you know like i said it's not a huge sum of money especially with a two and a half million dollar uh big red mark on our on our finances but it is what it is so let's get into the let's get into today's match boys and girls uh we are home we are heavily favored we're going to go with our home tactic. And let's get to it. Philip Kohler's back from a slight injury. We still have three players out with injuries. Uh, we did lose another player in a training injury of Valar, one of our reserve center backs. So a little, little weak back there. I'm, I'm wondering now, I'm starting to kind of give some thought. You know, we do have, you know, a handful of players coming in. For next season polysteris goes back door and somner is off sides oh that was unlucky because i think that header would have went in anyway if they would have just let it go if he would have let it go it was already going back door i think and he was just a smidge off sides i believe i have heard uh of course, I'm in America, but, you know, I do listen to a lot of uh, Leeds podcasts. There's three or four that I'm subscribed to that I listen to weekly. Uh, I believe they call it uh, being offsides by a pubic hair. Just, you know, that far. Uh, <laughs> so that was unlucky. But, yeah, we've got, five, you know, what? We looked last. Ooh, there's a foul in the box. Vegany Petrov is going to line up to take it. Oh, slot at home, man. Slot at home. He looks like he's in an offside position. Oh, and he puts it in, and they count it. 
10th <laughs> goal of the season. Most of those have come on penalties for the midfielder. Got to like that. Uh, but yeah, we've got, what, five players, four or five players coming in. And, you know, we're going to probably have to try to sell some players. And I'm thinking it's going to be at this level, even if we can't get money, you let them go if you can get their wages off the book. You know, you have to balance the books. So I've got to get a little more diligent about that. Let's praise them here for the final 10 minutes. We're pretty much controlling the game. 11 shots, only four on target. One chance created. Could be a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Let's tell him to avoid. And what's a upper body injury? Well, you know, the goalkeeper is the only one that uses his upper body in, uh, in playing football here. All right. Polisteris. Kosman. Oh, there's a shot. Oh, what a finish by Petrov. That's a brace for him. What a goal. Top bends, far post from outside the box. That was a thing of beauty. Let's watch that again. Oh, just one touch to control it. Oh, that was Premier League worthy right there. Wow. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull him off. Let's put uh, let's put Kirk in. Kurt in. All right, there's a header. Petrov. I can't take him off now. He's on a hat trick, right? <laughs> he doesn't come off very often. He is definitely our starting midfielder, one of our main players. So. Tapped away there. Gray. Oh, he gets past the tackle. And yeah. I can't wait for next season with that other goalkeeper. That's <laughs> just. Ugh. Yes. Go ahead and sub him off, please. All right. They've narrowed it to 2 1. Oh, man, what the hell? What the hell? Uh, let's demand more. Three out of five shots, and they've scored two. All right. Uh, Polisteris. I'm going to drop Petrov back there. And then we'll bring Rustic on. I need that yellow card out of that defensive mid spot. At least he got a yellow card. You you know he he's one of the ones that like to like to get those straight reds. Well, we had back to back episodes. Oh come on, he went right through the back of him. He's got to be off. Yes, red card. Oh my god, that was brutal. All right, show some passion. Wait a minute. They get a highlight and a goal, and they're a man down. All right, we're going to have to go up to attacking here. <sighs> Summer's not playing well, but he is our leading goal scorer. So I don't have anybody else that can really helped me out up there so let's try to solidify the back line here all right we have Malachik into the box and both of my players let it get right past him oh that's just horrible play All right, into the box, Rustic. There it is, yes! And there's Philip Somner, 13th of the season. Oh, oh, now I look like a brilliant tactician by leaving him on the pitch. But we're going to keep the pe pedal down. We're going to stay in attacking mode here. 
demand more. Oh, good save. I thought that was going in. I thought we were going to steal this. Letting, letting three goals in to lose a 2-0 advantage. That, ugh. All right, over to Herustic. Oh, he takes a pit. Whoa! And the first goal of his career. What a goal. Wow. Now, he's a loan. I believe he's a loany. He's in on loan. Uh, we are going to drop back to positive. Man, that was from way out there. Gee whiz. All right. He beats his man. I don't need another goal. I just want the win, boys. Woo! I mean, we dominated this game. And it should not have been that close. Uh, I am going to get a little aggressive. Win or not, that was unacceptable. That is true. That is true. So we've got, what's that, nine? That's 11 points in our last five. And we're one of three teams that have not dropped points via a loss in our last five. So we're doing pretty well. That does put us on 51. And that puts us within striking distance. Now, we're not going to catch Lens because goal differential gives them the advantage. But we could conceivably finish fourth still. But we need a win. We need a win. Reed does win the league. Heinrich is out for one day. The upper body injury he had was some bruised ribs. And it says it was from a tackle. I didn't even see him get hurt. Uh, that, and it was right before the half. I mean, like right, right at the halftime whistle. All right, we'll be back for uh, the next match here in just a second. So it's game day. I've made another offer on another goalkeeper, and I think he'll be better. And we're also looking to bring an English defensive midfielder in on trial. But real quick, let's take a look at Bonnie Rig Rose. I really enjoyed my time there. Last uh, That was last save, the last club we were with. But it was in this same universe because we have not uh, moved on. Let's see. If we look at... All right, real quick, because I need to remind myself here. Job history. Yeah, this is the young guy. No, Bonnie Rig was our first job. Yes, okay. So we actually got... We finished second, got promoted, so they're in the championship this year. So let's see how they're doing. Um, league table. Well, they didn't get relegated. That's good. They stayed up by 10 points over Aloha. Only six wins. So it wasn't a great season. Four far stayed up with them as well. So hopefully they'll strengthen the club. But they did stay up. So that's good. Uh, Ross County. Did Ross County go down? Are they? Wait, is that the next... That's the premiership, yes. And Ross County lost. So Ross County is going to drop down, and that's the senior affiliate. So they're going to lose their senior affiliate. It didn't matter because they weren't able to do anything. Wow, okay, so that's interesting. So let's take a quick look at them. Uh, transfer history. <clears throat> Callum Monroe, they sold him midfielder, if I remember correctly. No, he was a striker. That was that's right. He was our our third striker. So they sold him. Joshua McGregor, Sainsbury, Josh Patton, loaned him out, and I don't know who that is. Who is that? Oh, he's a young player, Yelonen. No clue. I don't remember him. There we are. Now, they brought in, wow. Oh, they brought him in on a free and then sold him. 
brought him in in 67, sold him. So they brought him in in the first window and then sold him in the, in the second, second window. Well, you can make money doing that, I suppose. Uh, Jordan Johnson. I think that was a move we did. So maybe we did that. Maybe we signed that guy and then they got rid of him. Okay. Because I remember signing Johnson. Uh, let's see. Uh, Josh Patton. They signed on a free and then loaned him out. They paid 12 5 for John Ferry from Four Far, uh, center back and central mid. And I did see the reason it made me think about it is uh, they signed a extension with, ooh, and they've changed their tactic to one up top. But they signed, where's he at? Where is he at? Ray Devaney did not play for him this year. Wow. Okay. You know what? I'm going to scout him because if he's on their reserves, I might go after him. Uh, Sandy MacArthur. Remember all the goals he scored for us? He didn't play. He's gone into their reserve squad. Wow. McGuire. McKenzie. Jeez. So I don't think MacArthur is good enough for us to try to sign here, but but Ray Devaney might be. He might be. So I'm going to scout him. Interesting. All right, well, let's get into today's match. We are the favorites. So at least, uh, at least uh, Bonnie Rig Rose stayed up. That's good. We are at home. We are favored. Uh, do we want to put in... Oh, Barsani's out with an injury. That's right. He's out. He's done for the year. A double hernia. Uh, Villar got hurt in training, and he's out for two more weeks. So, sprained ankle. So, he's done. Uh, Philip Kohler. Yeah, I think we're good here. He's on loan from Bacher Innsbruck. He hasn't played a ton. You know what? Let's give him a start. He's not even our player, but that's okay. I, I want to just give him a start. Let's get to it, man. Let's see if we can win. If we can get the points. If we can make a little more cash. That's all good stuff. And then, of course, you know, the first season, I always view the first season as a throwaway. It's just, you know, prepping for the following season a good header back in all right somner chase summer chases it down oh there's a nice cross in by Hus rustic and Kosman gets his fourth with a nice solid header but rustic man whoo what a cross by him Early 1-0 advantage. All right, Beck, we've got a chance to add to it. Oh, that one sails high. So the good news is we're looking pretty solid against the mid and lower level teams. It's the top teams that we're struggling with. And, you know, that's going to happen. I mean, you know, the Premier League, most of the clubs in the Premier level look pretty bad against the top six, right? a little early to be drinking uh, tea, but it is caffeine, so I'm trying to wake up. It's Friday. We're not working today. Uh, answering phones and just being available for our customers, and then we have a conference call at 10 o'clock. Oh, there's a... Oh, he went the other way. I thought he was going to go in, not out. All right, come on. You're dilly-dallying with the ball. Let's go, boys. Well, there's one. Oh, get there. Does it count? I don't think he was off sides. Daniel Beck gets credit. That's his third. See, Beck's one of the guys. He he, he appears to be one of the better players on our team, and, and we need more out of him. 
and it ju it could be just that it's the tactic. It could be because he's playing, you know, a central mid instead of an attacking mid. I don't know. Uh, let's let's tell them to concentrate. They're not going to like that, but I want them to concentrate and not blow. In fact, we're going to drop back to balanced here for the rest of the first half. I don't want to blow this two dill advantage again. Or maybe we go attacking. Maybe that's the thing to do, right? 16 to 1 on shots, but this is the perfect... Uh, what? But <laughs> this is the perfect spot to, to, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go up to it. Yeah, see, look. Ugh. And I have no faith in my keeper. Well, he saved it. Yay. Yay, you. <laughs> All right, so we've gone to attacking. Uh, let's uh, demand more. Heinrich. Deep into the box. It does get cleared out, but Polisteris is there. Oh, he lays it off. All right. Petrov. Oh, what a cross of the ball. Got it across with two passes. And Rustic puts in a goal, his second of the season. He's got a goal and an assist today. Wow. Wonder if we should have been playing him all season. All right, we're going to come back to positive. Ooh, here we go. I tell you what, let's call for a sub here real quick. Everybody's playing well. Well, you know what? It's the last match of the season. I don't need to keep anybody fresh. Oh, and it goes in. Beck now has a brace. His fourth of the season. Good job, boys. I still think set pieces are a little broken in this version. Okay, I don't even know who he was playing that up to. That didn't look good. And a straight. Whoa, was that on their guy? I thought it was our guy that went through him. <laughs> I thought it was our guy that went through him. All right, let's go ahead and sub off Petrov for... Tell you what, let's drop Kostman back there and let's bring Timo Dost. He's got some finishing and pace. He's young. Let's get him some minutes. There's Rustic. Out to Balmer. All the way across to Beck. Oh my God, I thought that was in. And we had a chance at the back post for a tap-in. I thought that was in. Oh, my goodness. Wow, he just lumped it out away from everybody. And I guess, you know, you do get that. You just get that lack of skill. Oh, Kossman! Woo, that was ambitious. Just a tad ambitious. All right, uh, Heinrich. Let's bring in Blazik. Well, he's on the left. Tell you what, let's bring let's bring Kurt in there. And then we'll make our next sub. We'll bring Alta Baumer for Blazik. And we will call that a season. We'll see at home. Uh, we'll praise them. They're fired up. Three minutes. Blow the whistle. Uh, maybe after we score one final goal for the season. No, blocked. Polisteris. Kosman. Rustic. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's been pretty impressive, that, you know, that cross from right to left and then setting up Rustic or whoever on the back side. Uh, that's, that was nice. I mean, just, you know, one, two quick passes and then a wide open shot across the face of the goal. Gotta love that. Five nil dominance here in the season finale. And we finish fifth. Oh, so, uh, let's see. Flor 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 won. Lynx lost and dropped. 
but we only finished we finished a point behind them. But we did get up to fifth, so that's solidly above eighth, you know, eighth mid table where we were expected. Dominant performance. Wish we could play like that all season long. Uh, I am going to go full on passionate today. Uh, da, 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 very pleased. Excellent job. All right, let's get up to the season awards. And see, this is what I was talking about. We got 526,000 for selecting the required minimum of 12 Austrian players for nine out of the last nine weeks. So we get a half a million dollars for doing that. Now, it doesn't help us financially. I, I guess it does, but two goals and an assist in the final match of the season. I wonder, is he, he signed for one more year? All right, well, I wonder if we can extend. Uh, make an offer, loan offer, to the end of next season? No, I can't. And this is what I don't know. If I put end of season, does that get us to the end of next year? I don't think so. I don't think so. So we're going to stay away from that for right now. But I, I may try to re-up him. I really wish I would have played him more the way he played. But I am more inclined, you know, unless there's an obvious difference in the skill level. You know, if I'm if I'm taking somebody in on loan just mainly for depth, I'm going to be more inclined to go with my player over a loan player. You know, because that's the player I want to develop. All right, let's see. Let's take a look here. So we got two players that have entered our best 11. Avegini Petrov was the pick. 15 goals in 74 appearances, an average rating of 6.92. And Demos Polistaris uh, is the other. So both of our midfielders, Polistaris goes to the bench. Petrov onto the field. Good for him. Uh, let's see. Season review. We lost in the second round. We finished fifth. I mean, you know, we were up there early, second position mid-season. But, you know, we were mostly around mid-table and then made that late run. So I think we did good. 65% capacity. I'd like to maybe get some more seats. Our initial budget, $3.86 million and $265,000. Uh, we're currently spending 37. We have a committed spending of 36, and next season will be 383. So we're not signing any more players. We've already done our transfers. In fact, I'm going to have to try to get rid of some players. I am pretty sure. Uh, let's see. End of. Uh, I'll do all the rest of this. Uh, let's look at the end of season awards. And Avegini Petrov, 45% fans player of the season. Daniel Beck, second. Philip Sommer, third. Lars Hrustic had the goal of the season, and that was just uh, the other day in the May 17th match against Bakker Modling. Daniel Beck was the signing of the season, and Petrov was the young player of the season. Well, guys, I think we have, uh, you know, the only other thing I would like to see we are bringing him in on trial. This is the uh, English midfielder. They're on break. Let's see, vision. So the end of next year, they want us to finish top half and just continue top half finishes. So we'll take that. We'll tell the team, and we will be calm, come back refreshed, top half. Everybody likes it. I'm really pleased. All right, Petrov and Beck finish second and third in Austrian Player of the Year for First Division. Philip Somner is third in goals with 12. 15 was the lead, so he wasn't far off the pace. And he's on, boy, he looks pretty good. All right, I wanted to see what his crossing and passing was. So his passing is at least decent. If we compare him with Polisteris, 
and attributes. I don't need that. Uh, pace is even. Polysteris has better fitness, but he's good. I mean, even though he's a little behind some of the physicals, he's he's solid. Now this is where he shines mental. Mentally, he is just much, much better. Uh, not quite as much determination, but everything else is up there. Uh, off the ball's better. Positioning's better. And then this is going to be kind of the nuts and bolts. Marking, he's a better defender. Tackling, he's much better. Penalty taking, I don't care about that too much. Passing, he's slightly better. I think I am going to make an offer on him. Well, he's a free agent. So do I want him as an important player? I'm going to say regular starter. He took it. Good. Uh, he wants a shitload of money. So I can't offer any more than 108. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to do it. And... All right, well, I'm going to have to walk away. What I have found is the English players in the game just much more expensive than anybody else, you know. And and I don't, you know, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Sommer breaks the goal-scoring record. His 13 goals is a new club record. The previous was from Andreas Boutrell, who scored 11 back in 2062. I want to get the... Email for the jersey sales. We've moved quite a few players up to the B team down the stretch. Probably about eight or nine players, so that's good. All right, how did Dreesen do? Dreesen started 20 games for us. Uh, what's his contract look like? His contract is about to expire. Oh, wait, no, no, no. He signed for one more year. Okay. Um, so can I make an... Let's take a look at him again. Let me make an offer for loan. And... End of season. Let's do that. Timo Dost. And... Let's make an offer here. And 50000 is really cheap, so we're going to say an optional future fee. I like that. Let's see if I can get that down to, uh, I don't know. I probably won't be able to afford it. Let's do that and end of season. All right, so we might get two of our loanies back, maybe. Assuming that goes to the end of next season. We'll see. We'll see. But I need to dive into this roster and see who I can get rid of. And like I said, a lot of it's just going to be trying to cull salary, whether we can get them off or not. All right, so Rustic comes to us. Ali Smith is off of the board. Oh, Jamie Quinn, the goalkeeper, accepts our bid. So we'll have two new goalkeepers next year. So that is definitely a position that we're going to be getting rid of uh, the guys that we currently had. In fact, well, I'll do that off camera. I really just want to get to the top jersey sales. I'm curious. I think that's one of the neat things to show. I think that should be with the end of season awards. I don't know when they actually show this. All right. It took about a week or so, but we finally got there June 3rd. So uh, our main jersey sponsor stays the same uh, for two more years. Uh, we actually see more sponsorship money, about fifty, about forty-five thousand. Uh, broadcast revenues went down about ten thousand. We'll make a little bit more in corporate and hospitality. Uh, we made about a half a million more in competition prize money. So we competition prize money two point one million. That's not bad. I mean, you know, that's and that's what that half million from the Austrian thing. So we, I got to make sure we keep Austrian players picked. Um, match day retail and commercial 
about 8,000 more per match. And our top selling jerseys, we sold 537. Beck was number one. Petrov, number two. Ellers, number three. He's our left winger. Kostman, number eight. And Kohler, who didn't play much, number five. Well, yeah, Kostman is number eight. He had the number four selling jersey. New scouting budget is 80000 Uh Kurt decided to retire, the, the aging veteran that we were trying to get rid of. So that'll shave some money off. And uh, both of the two players that we wanted to extend loans did accept, and they did, in fact, carry over to next year. So I will be jumping into transfers. So when we come back next episode, we'll be uh, in the transfer window and the first match of next season. Hope you guys come back for that. Thank you for following along this year. Let me know what you think of the finish. And um, as always, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated, guys. I don't take it for granted. And every one of you that take the time to swing by my channel, I do appreciate it. Have a good one. And we'll see you next season. Take care. Bye.